Hi, my name is Wes O'Donnell, managing editor of InMilitary.com and veteran hiring speaker and consultant. And today, we're going to talk about five reasons why hiring veterans is good for business. Number one, leadership at every level. At age 19, I was put in charge of $16 million of government equipment, and I had friends who, in their 20s, were appointed interim governors of entire towns in the Middle East. There is no better anvil on the planet to forge a 21st century leader than the U.S. military. Building world-class leaders is what we do. It's in our DNA. From a private in the army to a four-star general, every level has the responsibility and the expectation of leadership. In the business world, I've seen non-veterans in the absence of orders stop working. But military veterans, in the absence of orders, continue on to mission accomplishment. As Simon Sinek said, in the military, we give medals to people who sacrifice themselves so that others may gain. But in the corporate world, we give bonuses to people who sacrifice others so that they may gain. It's completely backwards. If you're looking for a candidate who doesn't need a lot of hand-holding, a natural leader to help you achieve your business goals. You can't go wrong with a military veteran. All right, number two, composure under pressure. The Air Force Times recently reported on a story where an F-16 was performing operations against the Islamic State over Iraq, dropping bombs on ISIS. And the F-16 suffered a fuel malfunction where it could only sustain 500 pounds of fuel at any given moment. Now, 500 pounds of fuel in an F-16 will get you about 25 minutes of flying time before you're going to need to think about putting that plane on the ground. This pilot was going to have to eject over ISIS-controlled territory. Now, in my mind, there are very few things that scare an Air Force fighter pilot. One of those things has to be ejecting over ISIS-controlled territory. So what happened? The crew of a KC-135 Stratotanker, essentially a flying gas tank, stepped up to the plate and offered to aerial refuel the F-16 every 15 minutes for the two hours it was going to take to get back to base. Now, understand that aerial refueling is already an endeavor that's filled with risk. It takes nerves of steel under dangerous, nerve-wracking conditions. To do it every 15 minutes? is the very definition of composure and creativity under extreme pressure. And there are hundreds of examples of this happening daily in all branches of the military. Your veteran candidate is bringing this composure under pressure with them into your company. All right, number three, integrity always. I still remember day one in the Air Force, them beating the Air Force core values into our heads. Integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all we do. In a world where integrity seems like a sparse commodity, you can count on veterans to operate out of a higher level of integrity in all interactions. Is every veteran a saint? Of course not. Just like any subculture, we have our screw-ups, we have our individuals who join for the wrong reasons, but by and large, you can count on a veteran to make the right decision, even when no one is looking. If integrity is important to you, if it aligns with your business goals, you can't go wrong with a military veteran candidate. All right, number four, habitual goal orientation. Veterans equate competence and task orientation as essential to achieving military objectives. Your veteran is bringing this goal-focused mindset into your business when you hire them. They're also bringing something called the AAR, or After Action Report. Uh, we called it the AAR in the Army. When I was in the Air Force, we called it the debrief. No matter what you call it, it is this cycle of continuous improvement where after a mission, everybody comes back, huddles up, and talks about what went right, what went wrong, 
and what we can improve for future missions moving forward to make those missions safer. Your veteran candidate brings this cycle of continuous improvement with them into your company. In fact, this debrief model has proven so successful in business that uh, former F-15 fighter pilot James Murphy has made a career out of teaching companies how to incorporate the debrief model and the AAR model into their business. Okay, number five, diversity and inclusion in action. In 1965, a black U.S. Army soldier named Milton Olive III was on patrol with his squad in Vietnam. They made contact with the enemy, and one of the Viet Cong tossed a hand grenade that landed right in the middle of the Americans. Private Olive nonchalantly raised his hand and said, I got it, and he laid down on the hand grenade and got blowed up. Private Milton Olive was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor, and he was the first African-American Medal of Honor recipient of the Vietnam War. In jumping on that grenade, Private Olive saved the lives of his squad mates, both black men and white men. He didn't just jump on the hand grenade to save the lives of the black members of his squad. And that's the beauty of the diversity in the military, is that the military is taking people from every possible ethnic background, from all over the United States. There's a cross section of American society, and they're cramming us all into this very confined space under potentially life or death circumstances. That type of work creates colorblindness. If my life is in your hands, I don't care what color your skin is, I don't care what God you worship, I don't even care what gender you identify with. If my life is in your hands, I'll help you roll out the prayer rug. And companies pay a lot of money for diversity training. Your veteran candidate brings this with them into your company, already fully trained up on diverse initiatives and getting things done with individuals from every possible background and gender. Hiring veterans isn't just the patriotic thing to do. Hiring veterans will make your company more competitive. All right, this is Wes O'Donnell. This has been five reasons why hiring veterans is good for business.